He was Black Diamond's first and only police dog, and he helped put criminals behind bars. But the retired canine went recently blind and has suffered complications ever since. Carol 7's Michael Spears shows us how the community is now raising thousands of dollars to help their former crime fighter. This is Saber. He's retired now, but he was Black Diamond Police Department's first canine drug dog. And I want to show you the medicine that he now has to take daily after a medical condition left him blind for nearly two months. He had a very lucrative, fun career, seven years. At nearly 14 years old, Saber, still sporting his badge, has accomplished more than most dogs. He put a lot of people in jail. He's now seven years into retirement after serving as Black Diamond's only drug-sniffing police dog. It's going to work every day with your best friend, you couldn't beat that. But in February, his owner, Officer Chris Chatterson, said Saber developed diabetes and then went blind. His spirit was broken when he lost his sight, but we decided that this was unacceptable, that he can't have cataracts, he can't go, go blind like this. Chatterson said the Valley Retired Police Dog Association paid the surgery that gave Saber his vision back. He has to wear this for the first month. But 12 days later, Saber was diagnosed with glaucoma in both eyes and needed emergency surgery after starting to lose his eyesight again. $1,350 a month is what I'm going to be spending out of pocket. Chatterson has now turned to the community for help paying the monthly medical costs, with several thousand dollars already raised through a GoFundMe. He's a happy dog again. Saber requires around the clock care. Good boy. But Chris refuses to leave his partner behind. Even if he only has a few, few years left, at least he'll be able to see for those last few years. So this is my gift back to him. But you can go over to Cairo7.com to read more about how you can help. Reporting near Black Diamond, I'm Michael Spears, Cairo 7 News.